Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Just kind of clean everything else out of the mind. Any other thoughts that go anywhere else, you say, nope, not right now. It's only when you clean the mind out that you begin to realize how clean it can be. Otherwise, it's like a place that never gets swept. The dust builds up, builds up, builds up, and you don't notice it at first. And then you just take for granted that, well, that's the way it's got to be. It's got to be dusty. But it doesn't. Greed, aversion, and delusion are visitors in the mind. They're not lords of the mind, although sometimes we let them take over. But they should be just visitors at the best. In other words, when you don't want them, you can put them out. But all too often we let them come in, and then all of a sudden they take over. So learn how to clean out the mind. Every thought that comes in that has nothing to do with the breath, just say, nope, 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 not going there. We have to learn how to say no like this as our first reaction, to counteract the tendency to just jump in with every thought, with whatever thought comes by. It's like standing on the side of the road. If someone drives up and says, hop in, you hop right in the car without asking. If you live like that, you would die. You have no idea who this is, where they're going. You just go, go, go. So you've got to learn how to counteract that tendency. They drive up and you've got to ask, well, who are you? Where are you coming from? Where are you going? Why should I go with you? And as part of the concentration, we learn to say no as our first reaction to anything that comes up. Even the good things that come up, you have to say no. Anything that's not related to the breath, no matter how wonderful it may be, and you just say, nope, not right now. Have a sense of time and place. And this way you get more in a position where you're in charge. You're calling the shots and not just whatever whim comes through the mind. Because after all, the whims of the mind turn into decisions, and from decisions they turn into actions, and from actions they shape the rest of your life. And if your life is being shaped by whims, it's not really trustworthy. As the Buddha said, you have it within your power to shape your life by the things you decide to think and say and do. So make the most of that power. Use it for the good, for your own good and for the good of others. That way when someone comes up and it really is worth going with them, it's, you go because you know who they are and you know where they're going, and you know you're going to be able to come back safely. That puts you in charge. After all, this is your life. You wanted to be born. Nobody hired you to be born. But that doesn't mean you just do what you feel like doing. It means that you have this one opportunity to try to make the most of it, because it's not going to be here all the time. So you, while you do have the opportunity, make, make the best decisions you can. And learning how to train the mind like this so that it stays where you want it to stay and it goes where you want it to go. That's a major step in gaining some control over your own life.